Happy 2022, ship spotters! I hope you had a meaningful celebration in welcoming the new year together with your family and your loved ones. 2021 has been a roller coaster ride full of exhilarating emotions and surprises, most especially in the shipping industry. It is also during this year that the country began to see some hope and optimism with the loosening of the travel restrictions and the gradual recovery of the economy. It has opened up more opportunities for more Filipinos to travel at sea. As part of our tradition, let us do a quick recap of what were the new ships in the country that surprised and amazed us in the year 2021. Welcome aboard, ship spotters! For this video, we will count down to our list of the top 10 new ships that were acquired or arrived either brand new or secondhand in the Philippines in the year 2021 plus a special citation for a shipping company with the most number of passenger vessels acquired this year. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get the latest updates. You can also support our channel by joining our membership program. Your contribution will help us create more informative videos just like this one. Exclusive perks and more await you. Just click on the join button down below to know more. Special shout out to all the current PSSS YouTube family members who have continued to support our journey. Please support the respective YouTube channel as they have been very supportive to the cause of the group. A link to their page is in the description box down below. So buckle up your seats and let's get into the video. Number 10. The MV Fastcat M19 and M20 the operator of FastCat, the Archipelago Philippine Ferries Corporation, has formerly received its two brand new additions to the FastCat fleet, the MV FastCat M19 and MV FastCat M20 last May 2021. The two new vessels have a length overall of 54 meters and a breadth of 18 meters. These new sister ship features new design improvements compared to the original FastCat design. The FastCats M19 and M20 were inaugurated last September 10, 2021. The FastCat M20 is currently serving the Batangas to Calapan and vice versa route. Up next, on ninth place, are the two new latest acquisitions of Santa Clara Shipping Corporation, the MV Don Eduardo and MV Don Antonio. They were both acquired by Santa Clara Shipping Corporation in the second quarter of 2021. The MV Don Eduardo was a former Kokosai Maru No. 32 when she was still in Japan. She has a length overall of 66 meters and a breadth of 15 meters. The second vessel, MV Don Antonio, was the former Hinase Maru No. 3 when she was still in Japan. She has a length overall of 64 meters and a breadth of 14 meters. The MV Don Eduardo has already finished her refitting works and will soon sail the Masbape city to Pio Doran and vice versa route. On the 8th place is the MV October Lavender of Atienza Inter-Island Ferries Incorporated and LCT Martin 7 of Maayo Shipping Incorporated. The MV October Lavender is a locally built brand new vessel owned by Atienza Inter-Island Ferries Incorporated. She has a length overall of 68 meters and a beam of 15 meters. She was launched last December 17, 2021. The vessel is currently having some last-minute refitting works and is slated to be commissioned by summer of 2022. While the LCT Martin 7 of Maayo Shipping Incorporated is the latest locally built brand new LCT vessel delivered to the company. She has a length overall of 66.48 meters and a breadth of 13.72 meters. She entered into service last January 2021 together with the rest of the fleet in connecting the island of Cebu to Negros Oriental. Both vessels were proudly designed and built by RAJT Marine Services Incorporated in their shipyard located in Navota. To know more about their information, visit their official Facebook page. A link to their page is in the description box down below. Up next, on the 7th place, is the MV Light Ferry 9 of Light Shipping Corporation. Not to confuse you all guys with the former MV Light Ferry 9, which was this one. But this time, this is a brand new MV Light Ferry 9. She is a 2,107 gross ton brand new vessel built in China. 
She has a length of whirl of 70 meters and a beam of 13 meters. She has a service speed of 12 to 13 knots and has a total carrying capacity of 400 passengers and 17 units of 10-wheeler truck. She was completed in January 2020, but due to the global pandemic, her delivery was delayed for more than a year. She arrived in Cebu last January 9, 2021, and is currently serving the Hagna Bohol to Cagayan de Oro and vice versa route. On the sixth place is the MV Santa Brigida of Montenegro Shipping Lines Incorporated. She is the third brand new vessel built by San Pedro Shipyard Corporation in its yard located in Dalahican, Lucena. She has a length of whirl of 72 meters and a breadth of 14 meters. The vessel has a service speed of 12 to 30 knots and can reach a top speed of 16.3 knots. She was launched last February 2021 and had her maiden voyage last March 7, 2021. Fun fact! PSSS was invited to the launching of MV Santa Brigida and had an exclusive FB live tour and coverage inside the vessel, which can also be viewed on our YouTube channel as well, so please check it out. We are down to the last top 5 on our list, so hold your horses, as the 5th spot belongs to MV Masbate City of Coast Shipping Lines Incorporated. This vessel might not be brand new or a recently acquired vessel from Japan, but this acquisition is a big milestone for the company and the significance of this vessel to the home province of Masbate. She was the former ferry Okiji when she was still in Japan. She first arrived in the Philippines in 2004 under the Moreta shipping lines as the MV Love 1, flying the Manila, Dumaguit, Rojas, and vice versa route. The vessel was sold to Medallion Transport in 2014, together with their fleetmate, the MV Niki. The MV Love 1 was later renamed as the MV Lady of Love, and eventually served the flagship routes of the company. She was later sold to the Masbate-based Coast Shipping Lines Incorporated somewhere between 2020 and 2021. She was refitted in the EC One Wharf area until she was finally completed in June of 2021. The vessel was later renamed as the MV Masbate City and is currently serving the Batangas to Masbate and vice versa route. It is currently the biggest and the flagship vessel of Co Shipping Lines Incorporated. On fourth place is the MV Starlight Phoenix of Starlight Ferries Incorporated. She was the former MV TransAsia 20 from their sister company, TransAsia Shipping Lines Incorporated. She is a Ropax vessel built by Kegoya of Japan. She has a length of whirl of 97.8 meters and a breadth of 16 meters. She was transferred to Starlight Ferries in 2021 and later became the MV Starlight Phoenix. She is currently serving the Batangas to Bugo Cebu and vice versa route, with side trips either to Estancia. Kulasi, or Rojas City. She is the sister ship of MV Starlight Venus. She shares the same design, configuration, and same dimension. Fun fact! PSS has covered the inauguration and launching of the MV Starlight Phoenix last July 31, 2021. You can check out the event video which can be seen on our YouTube page. Might as well check out the video during her time as the MV TransAsia 20. But before we will reveal the top 3 vessels on our list, we would like to invite you ship spotters to help us create more informative and more educational ship videos by joining the exclusive membership of our ship spotter family. This will help all our team in coming up with more exciting and more informative ship videos, a lot of cool rewards, behind the scene footages, and exclusive perks await you. Just click on the join button down below to know more. Now let's get back to the video. The number 3 on our list is the MV Filipinas Agusan del Norte of Cocalyong Shipping Lines Incorporated. She is the first brand new Ropax vessel of Cocalyong Shipping Lines after 32 years of operations. And it is the first Ropax ferry in the country today 
that sports an inverted bow. She is a brand new vessel built by Linhai Huipu Shipbuilding Company Limited in China, but the machineries and equipment inside the vessel are said to be sourced from Japan. She has a length overall of 102 meters and a breadth of 18 meters. She has two passenger decks and is reported to have a gross tonnage of 6,202 tons. She arrived in Cebu last December 2, 2021. The arrival of the MV Filipinas Agusan del Norte has surely made a last minute blast this 2021, and her upcoming launching and maiden voyage is really something to look forward to this coming 2022. And PSSS has a full coverage of her arrival in Cebu on our channel, so please check it out. Up next, in second place, is the MV TransAsia 21 of TransAsia Shipping Lines Incorporated. The vessel has an overall length of 122.75 meters and a breadth of 20 meters. She has a service speed of 17.5 knots and can reach a top speed of almost 20 knots. She arrived in the Philippines last May 2021 and was inaugurated last July of 2021. She is currently serving the company's flagship route, the Cebu to Cagayan de Oro and vice versa route. The MV TransAsia 21 currently holds the title of the country's biggest brand new Ropax vessel today. Fun fact! The PSSS was able to capture her arrival, her inauguration, and her maiden voyage. Check out our other videos of her in our channel. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. And the first on our list in the top 10 new ships of 2021 is no other than the new generation of Tugo liners, the MV Tugo Maligaya and the MV Tugo Masagana. Nobody has ever anticipated the arrival of these huge Ropax liners as we are expecting a decline in ridership in the liner category due to the ongoing pandemic, as well as the restriction of travel to the different parts of the country. But Tugo has greatly surprised the riding public, with the introduction and the arrival of its new generation of Tugo liners, the MV Tugo Maligaya and the MV Tugo Masagana. These vessels were the former Yamato and Tsukushi of Hankyu Ferry when they were still in Japan. The former Yamato was actually sold earlier in 2020 to Stana Group and was renamed as the Stana Nova. Fun fact, did you know that Stana Nova made headlines in the local media news outlets during the early days of the pandemic in 2020 when she was supposedly on her way to be delivered to her new owners to Europe? She made a brief stop in Subic Bay and stayed there for quite some time for shelter but its crews weren't able to disembark from the ship due to their early restrictions brought by the pandemic. Later on, she proceeded to Labuan, Malaysia, where she was anchored there for quite some time. It was in March 2021, when the rumor intensified that Tugo had already acquired the MV Stena Nova and was already on its way to Manila. PSSS was able to document her arrival in Manila up until her maiden voyage last May 30, 2021. A few months later, Tugo Travel has also acquired her sister ship, Tsukushi, directly from Hankyu Ferry, and arrived in the Philippines last May 2021. She was later renamed as the MV Tugo Masagan. The vessel was launched in the third quarter of 2021. The two sisters have a length overall of 195 meters, a breadth of 26 meters, and a listed gross tonnage of 29,046 tons. They are capable of reaching speeds of up to 23.5 knots, which is currently the fastest liners in the country today. The two sisters are also the latest liner ferry to arrive after 7 years. The last one to arrive was the MV St. Therese of the Child Jesus in late 2015. They also currently hold the longest liner ferry in the country ever acquired in recent times. We have a trip review of both MV to go Maligaya and MV to go Masagana on our channel, so please check it out. But before we end the video, we also have a special citation for a shipping company that has the most number of passenger ship acquisitions for the year 2021. Not only this company has acquired a lot of vessels, but it also made this province a new transit hub for passengers and cargo shipment. The company is no other than Co Shipping Lines Incorporated. 
This company has been aggressively acquiring local ships with a total number of 10 ships for 2021 alone. The company aims to make the province of Masbate a transit hub or a gateway in connecting Masbate to the neighboring islands and provinces by introducing new missionary routes and to create an alternative options for passengers and cargo shippers in the transport of goods and services to the rest of the country. This is a very bold move made by the company and great news for the entire shipping industry as well. That is it mga ka-ship spotters! We have wrapped up our top 10 new Philippine ferry ships in 2021. What do you think? Please let us know in the comment section down below. Here's a special shout out to the following subscribers. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.